Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So if you can notice something, I have a different background and I am so happy about it, I really am. Obviously you know I've been having a lot of trouble over the past probably year to get a background. So I took matters into my own hands and I now have a screen so I can film videos properly. If you can excuse the hair, I think I'm trying some different things with my hair so I'm kind of just letting it do what it wants to do today so if you could just ignore that. So in today's video I'm going to be filming a everyday summer makeup tutorial and I do realise that this is quite a late video because background issues but this is the look and stay tuned watching if you want to find out how to get this. So make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, especially if you want me to do other makeup tutorials because I definitely will be. Drop a comment in the comments, obviously, um, what other videos you would like me to do and remember to subscribe guys, we are almost at 200 so can we make it? I think we can. So now let's get on to the video. So I've just zoomed you guys in a little bit and I've put my hair in this bun just to keep my hair out of my face while I'm doing my makeup. So I'm just going to start by priming my skin and I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Based Visage. That is a mouthful. I haven't used this primer yet, I bought it yesterday, so it's also going to be like a first review. And now I'm going in with the MAC Studio Fix Fluids in the shade NW13. I find this foundation really good for when you've got quite a bad skin day, which we all have, and it does really well just to kind of like cover all of your blemishes up. Now that my skin has no dimensions, we are going to move to concealer. And now I'm going in with the MAC Pro Long Wet. My hand is shaking and I don't know why and I'm just going to use this all over my blemishes but I'm not doing it under my eyes because normally I find that when I do it under my eyes and then try to set it, it goes really cakey and wrinkly so I'm working on that. I always put some on my chin just because I feel like it highlights it a little bit. I realise that it looks like I'm just putting concealer on just random spots on my face my blemishes aren't overly showing up in the camera, so that's why. This is a hand workout. And now I'm taking this scratched up NYX Photogenic Finishing Powder and this big fluffy brush and I'm going to do a light dusting all over my face. And you can see that does a really good job of just setting the foundation and concealer and leaving a slight dewiness to the skin so that it's not completely matte because I don't like completely matte makeup. And now for eyebrows, I'm going to be using the Benefit Soft and Natural Brow Kit. And I don't do much to my brows, but I do like to fill them in like slightly just to kind of give them a tiny bit more of a shape, if you will. So you can see I don't overly do too much to them, but I do lightly fill in my eyebrows so that they have a bit more of a shape and they're a little bit more darker than what they are. And then just setting it with this brow gel, also by Benefit. So now I'm taking the Benefit Cheek Foam Palette and I'm going to use this to bronze and blush my face. So with this buffing brush and these two blush shades, I'm going to mix these together to create a nice subtle blush shade and I think this looks really nice, especially in summer, just because it's a nice dust of pink. And now for bronzer, I'm going to be taking this fluffy angled brush and this shade from the palette and I am going to dust this over my cheekbones, my forehead and my jawline. A 
um, it's a bit too much. And then when you go in a bit too heavy of the bronzer, you can just buff it out because that was way too much. So now that the cheeks are almost done, I am going to be going on to my eyes. And I'm not going to be using any type of eyeshadow on my eyes because in the summer I tend to kind of drift away from the eyeshadows because it's quite hot and when I get hot I might want to rub my eye and even though I've got mascara on, eyeshadow will kind of just mess it up. So I'm taking this eyelash curler and these two mascaras to lengthen out and thicken my eyelashes. sound of a healthy mascara. I like quite big eyelashes as well, so I try to put a few layers on, but I don't want my eyelashes clumpy, so. Now, I do my makeup in quite a weird order, so now I'm going in with this Cocoa Butter Lip Balm, and I'm just going to prep my lips for lipstick. So now I'm going to set my makeup with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. So for lips I'm going in with the MAC Velvet Teddy Lipstick. So last but not least, I'm going in with this Revolution Skin Kiss Highlighter in the shade Ice Kiss and this Real Techniques Contour Brush and I'm just going to put highlights on my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow and all the places you would normally highlight. I don't know if it's just me but you can't overly see it that well on camera. Oh, no, you can. And so this is the finished look. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed. I absolutely loved filming it and I am so happy that I can film with a proper background now. And I should be putting things like maybe fairy lights and things and make it properly like me. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Hair's kind of like... It's quite a dramatic hair flip, isn't it?